story to tell. China is rapidly developing various military systems, competing fiercely with Russia and the West in all categories. For a transport aircraft, in an attempt to compete with the legendary American C-130 series, the Shanxi Y-9 was born. This is essentially a stretched and upgraded development of the Shanxi Y-8F. The Shanxi Y-9 is classified as a medium-range transport aircraft, roughly equivalent to the U.S. Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules. The Y-9 is based on the Shanxi Y-8, a much older aircraft, produced in the early 1980s. The Y-8 itself is a copy of Antonov AN-12 from the Soviet Union, which Beijing has started license producing in the 1960s. Basically, the Y-9 still inherits the qualities of its predecessor. It had a high-mounted wing configuration, and the four-engine layout remained the same. Streamlined fuselage and single fin tail unit. A loading ram and drawers allow access to the cargo horn at the base of the tail, a feature common to the most any cargo hauler in military service today. Some special purpose variants such as the Y9G have the rear ram door removed. The Y9 has a length of about 36 meters, a wingspan of 38 meters, a height of 11.3 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 65 tons. It is powered by four Wuxiang WJ6C turboprop engines. The propellers are six-bladed and made with Chinese JL4 composites. The WJ6C is replaced by Brad and Whitney Canada PW150B in the Y9E export variant. The Y9 can reach a top speed of 650 km per hour, a cruise speed of 550 km per hour, a range of 2,200 km, and a service ceiling of 10,400 m. The Y9 is designed for 25 tons of cargo, but can reportedly carry up to 30 tons. The aircraft can fit up to 106 passengers and 132 paratroopers, or 72 stretchers. For our vehicles, it can carry two paratroopable ZBD-03 airborne combat vehicles as well as various other military equipment, such as light trucks, cargo containers, or pallets. The Y-9 entered People's Liberation Army Air Force service in 2012, with full operating capability being announced in December 2017. According to the Global Times, the Shanxi Y-9 may play an important role for the People's Liberation Army Air Force and the People's Liberation Army Navy's logistics in the South China Sea, where Chinese military planners are acutely aware of the need for a robust transport aircraft capable of carrying out regular resupply and transport missions. China may look to export the Shanxi Y-9 as a low-cost alternative 
to similar equipped US and Russian options. The aircraft is commonly promoted at trade shows to a range of international customers. To date, more than 30 Y9s have been produced. My video about the Chinese Shanxi Y9 transport aircraft ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.